And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Sellers for Sub for another video. It's finally time for the 850 subscriber giveaway. And as I mentioned in the last video, this giveaway prize is sponsored by Randy. He sent us something cool for us to give away on the channel for you guys. And you guys are going to absolutely go crazy for it. And it's uh, definitely the coolest thing I think that we've given away so far. I'm not going to lie to you. But before we jump too far into that, I actually took a bit of a gamble recently on eBay. Um, just a little bit of backstory. So um, originally they released the Accelerators Acceledrome track set that I'm sure a lot of you guys had as kids. Really, really cool track set. Came in a little wheel of power and everything. Little docking stations for all the cars or all the different teams. It was super cool and it came with a baseline. But uh, I just recently learned over the last couple weeks that at I think at Christmas of that year, they actually re-released the Accelerodrome or just added to the Accelerodrome track sets. And they added three bonus cars to these track sets to sort of help themselves like a little Christmas promotion. And uh, I could be remembering some of this wrong, but I did double check with Ryan before I posted this video. You know, he's my my wealth of accelerators knowledge that I always try to double check with before I do stuff like this. So uh, Ryan, if I am misremembering some of the stuff you said, please correct me down in the comments. But I wanna say they re-released the Accelerodrome, or not re-released, but they added three bonus cars to some of the Accelerodrome track sets with a little special sticker that says three bonus cars inside to sort of help them sell Christmas promotion. So I saw one of these pop up on eBay the other day or last week, and I was sort of thinking to myself, huh, and the price on it was like $220 with shipping and taxes and everything included. And I was like, $220, I was like, okay, well, if there's three carded cars inside and the Accelerodrome track set typically sells for between like, I've seen them go for like 120 to like up to $200 new in the box. It's probably more like the 130 to 140 range with uh, new in the box. But you know, prices have been going a little crazy and it's a pretty cool track set, hard to find. So uh, I was sort of doing some thinking. I was like, hmm, if the track set itself, you know, unopened can sell for 130 to 160 bucks or whatever. I was like, and it comes with three bonus cars. I wonder what the three bonus cars inside could be. I was like, cause you know, if you can pull something crazy like a, a reverb out of it, you know, that pays for the track set by itself. So I was looking at this one on eBay. I double checked with Ryan and asked him and I tried to Google it and see if I could find anything out about those bonus cars. You know, if they were like a set three cars, like, you know, three hollow backs or something like that. Cause then I was going to avoid it. But uh, I think I found one post that was in the subreddit or it might've been Excelopedia. I don't remember. There was a post somewhere online that said a guy had opened one with three bonus cars and he got like a cub light, high voltage and like a power bomb or something like that out of it or a hollow back. I don't remember exactly, but it was two pretty rare cars that were sort of in the, the later releases. They're a little bit rare, like cub light, high voltage. So uh, that got me thinking, I was like, man, if I buy this track set and it's got a cub light or something in it, that would be absolutely incredible or an RD08 or a reverb, like, you know, some rare cars. So I shot Ryan a message and asked him sort of what he thought. And he basically said that uh, the cars that they included them were some of the later released cars. They sort of like grabbed random ones and stuffed them in there. So uh, you had a chance to pull something crazy. It was not three set predetermined cars. So it's pretty much like a lottery ticket. You know, you open up your Accelerodrome and the three bonus cars. And, but the most important thing was that the cars were carded with trading cards inside, you know. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool, honestly. It's like a random grab box of three carded cars. And this probably wasn't a big deal, you know, a year or two ago when Accelerator's carded cars were like, you know, 10 to $15 a pop for just about any of them. But these days with the prices going up, I mean, you know, high voltages are hitting like the 60 to $70 range, which is insane. RDO twos are up over 50 bucks these days. RDO eights, reverbs are both well over a hundred dollars. Reverbs are pushing like 250 lately on eBay, at least with some of the buy it now prices. So it got me thinking, you know what? I'm gonna snatch up this Accelerodrome and open it up and see what three bonus cards we can get. And hopefully it can pay off the Accelerodrome by itself. And then, you know, I can always resell the track set because I don't really have a whole lot of interest in keeping the track set, at least right now. Because uh, I did have an Accelerodrome as a kid. I'd love to get a Swamp Beast track set at some point though. That would be pretty sick. So you guys know what I had to do. I snatched up that Accelerodrome for $222. And uh, I've got it here today. And what we're gonna be doing is ripping it open gently and seeing what three bonus cars come inside. And hopefully we can pull something crazy like an RDO8 and a Reverb, get another one on the eBay market. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this Accelerodrome. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have our Accelerodrome track set with the three, as you can see, extra value, three bonus cars inside. That is what we are here for. It's funny, I remember getting this track set as a kid. It was like the coolest thing ever. I could never find the Swamp Beast one, but uh, this was actually one of my first Hot Wheels track sets that I got. I was never really big into the track sets. You know, I played with the cars, but uh, I didn't have much interest in rolling them around on a track, you know, because uh, imagination is your best friend when you're a kid, right? But for anybody who doesn't know, that is what it looks like when it's all put together. It is, uh, it really is very similar to the Accelerodrome. It's got a wheel of power where the cars can enter the racing realms to 
motorized rotating loops and two boosters. Very cool. But let's go ahead and rip this open and see what bonus cars we can get. And this is what the back side of the box looks like here. As you can see, it's just sort of a closer up picture of the Excel drone. It's interesting, this synchro looks a lot more gold than the actual synchro, doesn't it? But uh, still a very, very cool track. So I'm not gonna lie, they must have glued this thing with like super glue because I, it took me like five minutes to rip that thing open. But anyways, let's go ahead and rip this thing open and see what bonus cars are inside. So there they are, three mint on card accelerators cars. This is what we're here for. Oh no, they fell over. Oh, I don't wanna spoil the surprise. Hold on, we're gonna flip them back over. Okay. All right, so these are the three Acceleracers cars that came with our Acceladrome track set. Ooh, I feel good, guys. I can feel a reverb in here. This one's actually a little bent. That's a bummer. All right, so the first car is a Blackwing Synchro. Hey, that's not bad at all, honestly. Blackwing Synchros have been pushing 35, 40 bucks on uh, eBay. So let's go for our second car, which is a, ooh, we got a Cove Light. There we go. That is very nice. It's not quite RDO8, but Covlight, I mean, you gotta think that's about a $60 car on eBay lately, at least. That is very nice. So it, it's funny, the other guy that opened one of these on the Reddit post, he had pulled, I think it was like Covlight, high voltage, something else. So maybe Covlight is a staple car for this. And then there's just some, uh, some other cars mixed in. So this is our last chance. Can we get a high voltage or a reverb? Oh, we got a power bomb. Bummer. Oh, well, hey, you know what? We actually did pretty good. I mean, honestly, between these three, it's probably $100, $110 worth of cars for a $220 track set. I mean, you got to think, you know, we probably made at least 30 or 40 bucks. So not too shabby. Uh, we got our three carded cars. You know what? We're going to go ahead and open up this power bomb real quick. I'm going to rip it open. All right, so here's our Loose Mint CM6 power bomb. Not too bad. These two are a little too expensive for me to rip open, but... Uh, Never hurts to open up a power bone. So let's see which cards we got. We've got Molten River, ugh. Maze Minotaur, ugh. And, and we pulled an RDO 9, there we go. That's a $20 card, at least lately on eBay. These RDO 9s have been selling almost as fast as I can get them in stock. Honestly, wow, so that is awesome. So a $20 card along with, you know, a $10 car, not too shabby at all. Well, if anyone is interested in an Acceladrum, let me know. I will probably sell this honestly for like 150 bucks or so. I, I really don't need to make a huge profit on it. Just, uh, it was more about the experience of getting those cars out of it. Like I said, nothing on the inside has been touched at all. Just those three bonus cars. I'm gonna have to tape that to reseal it, unfortunately. But, uh, so yeah, not too bad. We got a Cove Light and a Blackwing Synchro out of it. That is not too shabby at all. Oh, actually, looks like there's a little dent on the Synchro package as well. Bummer. Well, at least they're carded, right? Maybe I should just open them all up, who knows? But anyways, that is actually a pretty fun experiment. I'm not gonna lie, if I see any more of these Accelodromes that have all uh, have the three bonus cars, I think I will definitely be going after them. But uh, the Synchro and the Cove Light, that's not too bad at all. I mean, solid, you know, middle of the pack pulls. I think Ryan was 100% right that it could be later release cars because Cove Light is one that I definitely didn't have as a kid for sure. But uh, I know Synchro and Powerbomb were two that I did have, I believe. But it just makes you wonder, if another one of those Acceladromes pops up, I'm going to 100% buy it. Because uh, I figure I can still resell the Acceladrome track set. I'll uh, tell people in the description that I just opened it up to get the bonus cards. You know, there's still a baseline in there. Maybe I'll toss some extra cards in there for somebody, some loose ones that are good for, you know, playing on a track with. But uh, I feel sure I can still resell that and get, you know, $100 to $150 for it. So at the end of the day, we probably still will about break even, make a small profit on it. But uh, still a pretty cool experience opening that. Uh, I'm definitely going to be looking to buy more of those if they pop up because, you know me, I'm a gambler, guys. And I absolutely am dying to pull like an RDO 8 or a reverb out of one of those. But uh, I was looking through sold listings on eBay and it doesn't seem like they pop up super often. But it is what it is. So I just wanted to open that on camera for you guys just to get a little more data out there about those Accelerodromes with the three bonus cards. And we got a carded cove light out of it. So it's not too bad. Definitely could have been a lot better, but could have been a lot worse too. We could have pulled like a hollow back, a power bomb, and a ratify. Wouldn't that be something to pull three ratifieds out of it? But anyways, let's move on to the 850 subscriber giveaway. So for the 850 subscriber giveaway, what we're giving away via Randy is probably you guys' favorite custom based on all the comments, a movie accurate gold synchro. It's got headlights, those Gorgeous, gorgeous crystal blue windshield. Look at this car, guys. Look at those decals. 
So this is the big prize Tyco across the windshield. This is the big prize for the 850 subscriber giveaway. The only small issue with this car is that it uh, it does not 100% roll straight. Uh, well, of course, now on camera it is, but uh, when I was rolling it, it kind of veers to uh, to the right as you roll it. But at least when I was rolling it off camera, it was kind of veering to the right as it rolled. But uh, honestly, a car like this is mostly for display purposes anyways, as it is a pretty premium looking custom. It is absolutely incredible. So not really that big of a deal, but this is what we're giving away for 850 subscribers, guys. Hopefully you guys are psyched up about this prize. And as I'm sure most of you guys know on eBay, these cars sell like hotcakes at about 90 to hundred dollars. They are very expensive and very popular. It is very rare for them to be listed on this page for more than a day without selling. Honestly, these and those, uh, those flathead furies both sell like lightning fast. So that is our prize. So to enter this giveaway for this movie accurate gold synchro, absolutely beautiful. To enter this giveaway, guys, as always, I need you to like this video. You have to be subscribed to the Accelerators Hub. And if you're not subscribed and you're still watching, then what are you waiting for? You might as well subscribe. The content's only going to get cooler from here. And uh, then I need you to go down to the comment section for me. And let's see, this time around, you know, we're going to keep it sort of in the train of thought on customs. So what I want to know is what is a custom car that you'd like to see that you haven't seen yet by any of the custom makers, whether it be Randy or Miguel or Fish Daddy, what's a custom that you guys would like to see? Sort of any combination, you know, if you want to see a, a stripped metal rolling thunder or a, a drone synchro, just uh, throw out a combination for me, you know, an Acceleron Drift Tech, you know, throw something out there for me down in the comments. Let me know what's a custom or sort of a car combination with a style that you'd like to see made in a custom. Just uh, go down in the comments and let me know that for me. Gosh, let me think. Like for me personally, and I've said this multiple times on the channel, I would love to see every single Accelerator's car in stripped metal form. I just cannot get enough of the stripped metal cars, especially not with the uh, the chrome paint that Randy uses. I think that would absolutely make every single car pop. Like a stripped metal Synchro, a stripped metal Chicane, those would be, like my life would be complete if I saw those cars. That would be absolutely incredible. So those are my votes. But go down to the comment section, let me know what sort of custom that you guys would sort of like to see if you could dream up a custom. Just go down in the comments, let me know, and that will get you entered into the 850 subscriber giveaway to win this gorgeous movie accurate gold synchro. So that's what you gotta do to be entered into the giveaway. And if you don't win, no worries. Like I said, another giveaway coming as soon as we hit 900 subs. And then the next giveaway won't be till we hit a thousand, but we got something pretty cool for a thousand. I think you guys are gonna like. And uh, that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. So be sure to go enter the giveaway, like this video for me if you enjoy this synchro that we're giving away. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.